another mentoring moment. I'm Dr. Baron Gilfillan, and we're in a series called The Power Principles of Life. They all begin with a letter P, and each one of them uh, is building towards these principles that will guide your future and guide your life. Uh, today, we're going to be dealing with the power of preparation. Preparation is critical and key. You know, um, we often spend uh, three years preparing for ministry, and then we spend 30 years ministering. Jesus spent 30 years preparing for ministry and three years ministering. And who had the greater results? Obviously, Jesus. Um, preparation is absolutely critical to having something to be successful. And preparation can be in any area that you sense that God is wanting you to get ready for, God is wanting you to accomplish or to fulfill and um, I remember I worked for Reinhard Bonke. I was his TV producer. And um, one of the fun things that he used to do uh, during the Crusades, he would uh, um, call all the ladies to the, to the platform who wanted to have children and who uh, were barren. And after they all came, he said, now, anybody who's not married, please go back. And <laughs> he basically, you know, would end up with those who were, you know, genuinely, you know, married and waiting to have kids. And, um, and he would pray over them. And then, I mean, it was incredible. We documented many, many times, nine months from the day he prayed, that uh, they were holding a child in their hands. And it was an amazing thing to see. Now, whenever he would release them and send them uh, back after the prayer, he would say these words and he would say, prepare for a baby, go back, get a room ready, um, begin to uh, you know, get your life in order so that you can welcome a new child into your home. And and, and many of them would, 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 you know, separate a room and they would get things ready, get a crib, get some of the clothes. And it's amazing how God would honor that because they prepared for what they were praying for. Now, I remember one lady, um, you know, who wanted to have a husband and she didn't have a husband and she wanted to get married. And so she took those same principles and she went down to a, a local, uh, um, you know, store and she went and she purchased a pair of pants and she actually said to the Lord, you know, Lord, I'd like to marry somebody who's about five foot eight, and I'd like them to have, you know, to be this this waist level and this length. And, and she actually went and purchased a pair of pants exactly according to the person that she had in her mind that she wanted to marry, and she was asking God for. Well, six months later, she met a person, and, and they ended up getting married. And what's amazing was that he fit those pants. And... Uh, Preparation is just a, it's a principle. It's a principle that God wants us to understand. Um, when we go into the scriptures, we can see a, a number of cases, and I'm going to end with Elisha, but um, I want to just mention first Joseph in the Old Testament. Uh, when Joseph prophetically saw what was going to happen, that there was going to be seven years of plenty and seven years of famine, what he did was prepare the whole known world for the famine. And a part of the prophetic that God gives in the Word of God, as well as personally, He's preparing us and He's telling us, I'm telling you ahead of what's going to happen so you can prepare. Joseph prepared barns. He prepared places for the silos, for the grain. He took in a percentage of the grain of everybody during the good years. And then he saved the whole known world because of preparation. Preparation was the critical key. And so the final story I want to close with really is Elisha. And Elisha, um, you know, comes to this widow lady. She's uh, um, she lost her husband. And so the creditors are coming to take away her two sons. And she just cries out to the prophet. And the prophet says, go and prepare vessels. Go and get vessels from your neighbors. Go and go and get as many vessels as you can and, uh, and get those vessels and bring them to your house. And so she tells her sons and they go and they, and they get a number of vessels. And, um, and then, you know, he asks what she has in the house and she only has a tiny bit of oil. And he um, tells her once she's prepared those vessels, um, you know, pour the oil into those vessels and she pours and the miracle begins to happen. And it's an amazing, the, the moment that the vessels are all filled, that's when the miracle stopped. According to the preparation that she made for that increase was what God gave. And the moment that the preparation had been, had been satiated, had been stopped, then the miracle ended. And so we have to understand that when we're believing God for something miraculous, we're believing God to do something for increase in finance, God 
tells us, prepare for it. Prepare according to your faith that God will, will often manifest what He wants to give you. You have to prepare according to your faith and according to your preparation. Very often, that's going to limit the miracle that God does in your life. So, um, the power of preparation, um, it is an incredible principle. It lays foundations for everything else in our lives. And um, I want to just uh, close by praying for you. And Lord, I just pray for every person that is trusting you, believing you, asking you for a miracle, asking you to do something. Or oh, Lord senses that there's a calling or that there's a purpose, there's a destiny. Lord, I pray that you help them to prepare their hearts, their minds, their their physical bodies, their finances, every area of their lives. Show them how to prepare for what you want to do in their lives. And I pray, God, that even as they take on this principle, as they take on preparation, that God, they will accomplish the full measure of what you have for them. I pray this now in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you. Mm -hmm.